got him. <laughs> What's up guys, it's Harleywood, welcome back. All right, so several weeks ago, I published a video about a prairie dog hunt that I went to Wyoming and had the opportunity to participate in. So Caldwell brought us out there. They were rolling out their new flashbang. So this is the flashbang and you can see there is a strip of LEDs down the side here. So what this is, is if you set this up on a steel target with only the LEDs showing out the side of the steel target and then you shoot, it actually has a visual indicator to let you know that you hit your target. And especially if you're shooting out to distance, we took it out to 1600 yards. And I don't know if you've ever been to Wyoming, but the wind is crazy, which is part of the story for this rifle. Um, the wind pretty much prevents you from hearing most hits on steel. Well, you can see it with that. So anyway, link in the description below to that if you're interested, big thanks to Caldwell. But we got to go out there and I took two rifles with me. So I'll put a card right up here on the screen you can check out the first rifle that I took. It was from Stag Arms and it was fantastic on day one. Day one, the wind was pretty mild, all right? And I had an LPVO optic on that rifle, um, which was fine for the mild wind. Day two and three, the wind was insane. We had gusts up to 50 miles an hour. And unfortunately that LPVO scope from Vortex had no wind holds and it had no stadia lines, nothing like that. So luckily, Two is one, one is none, is that the old saying? Luckily, I had this rifle with me. This one has the Vortex Strike Eagle 5 to 25, has a beautiful reticle on the inside, beautiful stadia lines. I'll roll in a picture of it here. And, and we crushed prairie dogs with this one. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and warn you, if you don't like hunting, if you don't, um, if you don't like seeing you know, animals that get shot and the aftermath of it, you might want to cut the video pretty soon because the end of this video, I'm going to show you a bunch of the footage of me using this rifle. Now, Wyoming has all these beautiful pasture lands, right? These beautiful prairies that just extend as far as you can see. And there are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of prairie dogs on these pastures. And they dig holes all over the place. The horses and the cattle and, and things fall in the holes, break their legs. And so the ranchers um, either poison them, which has side effects, or they let people come out and try to shoot them. And shooting them, you don't even make a dent in these populations, man. The populations are just enormous. So you're driving around on, on all this property and you pull up and you see all these, you know, dirt mounds out in the distance. It can be anywhere from 50 yards out to 250, 300 yards, depending on, depending on how far you want to shoot. And you, you get up on, you know, a tripod or something like that, or a bipod on the back of the truck and you go to work on these prairie dogs. So we were using Remington 223 with those varmint tips on it. I'll roll in a picture of it here. And again, if you don't like this type of content, if you don't like um, hunting or the aftermath of a hunt, go ahead and close the video out. But when that varmint tip hits those prairie dogs, it just, it depends on where you hit, it explodes them and they go flipping off through the air. So it was, probably one of the most fun hunts I have ever had. All right, so big thank you to Vortex, big thank you to Caldwell, big thank you to Silencer Central. So they affixed everybody with the Banish 223. I went ahead and got one of my own. I also got the Banish 30 and I have a Banish 46 coming. We're gonna have some fun with the 4570 and the 458 SOCOM. So I'm also gonna be doing a giveaway of some of these flashbangs, all right? That will be coming in the next few weeks. Make sure you're subscribed down below. Real quick on the rifle, we talked about the scope. We talked about the silencer on the front here. There is an AccuTac bipod here with a M-Lock quick disconnect. So it has those two little teeth on it there. You simply pop them up inside the M-Lock and it locks in place, very secure. I'll put a link in the description below where to get all of that. Trigger tech trigger on my Joint Force Enterprise SPR. So this is chambered in 223 Wild. It's an 18 inch barrel. I did a full review of this a couple years ago and I was really glad I took this because with this scope, I, was, I had a much better time out at distance. And we were shooting these things out to 250 yards and this thing was just crushing them. So fantastic scope makes all the difference. There's this old saying that you can't, um, you can't buy your way to being a better shooter. Bullshit. You, you put some good optics, a good rifle, you know, you get everything set up right. I can put somebody who's rarely ever shot behind something like this and they'll do much, much better. So anyway, without further ado, here comes some of that footage.
Oh, he's running. Good shot, buddy. Good Oh, there he is running on top of that mound. Got his ass. Dude! <laughs> <laughs> nice! I'll teach you how to do that later, all right, buddy? I'm, I'm, I'm going to delete all the food. <laughs> <laughs> Just suck it. <laughs> <laughs>